Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark, and this is a little video about a refill that I just created in the last few days that's something to play with. And just a little background, so I'm working from home like a lot of other people, and uh, when I'm working from home, there's a lot of background noise with uh, people and other things, and sometimes I have to concentrate and it's hard for me to do that and I can't just listen to music with words and I've listened to lots of noise stuff uh, like weird noise stuff on uh, the internet um, and uh, and I like ambient music with no words and just sounds in the background that are you know sometimes they're peaceful sometimes they're noisy but it's just something to help tune out other stuff and so I thought, well, maybe I can create something like that myself. Um, and so it wasn't wasn't too hard to do. Uh, I've, anybody who's watched other videos I've done knows that um, I really enjoy using CV and uh, control voltage and and making stuff with it and making like auto auto automated machines. And so I made one thing and then I tweaked it and made it into something else and then I kept playing with it and kept playing with it and then I made a few more machines and anyways now it's just turned into a whole thing all itself so I'm just releasing this little refill called Auto Noise and it's a series of, uh, of these little Auto Noise combinators that all do, um, they all kind of have their own character and uh, let's just take a look. So, I couldn't have all the controls that I wanted to in this, but uh, I did the best that I could um, with a limited number of knobs and buttons. So, uh, LFO rate, a lot of what you hear is controlled by uh, LFOs, a lot of random LFOs creating the pitch um, and um, maybe triggering the notes. Um, and so when you see LFO rate in one of these, then that usually means like you'll speed up the notes or it will change the pitch faster, something to that effect. Um, in other cases, some of them say note rate, which is how fast the notes are playing. So in the case of this one, LFO rate and note rate are independent of each other. Um, and then I have Thor volume, Maelstrom volume and that's because I got Thor's and I've got a Maelstrom those are what's making the noises um, in this particular instance and then I have changed sound which um, and I, I think I think almost all of them have this button and when you change sound then it does what it says um, so it's changing the uh, uh, it's, it's changing the uh, like whatever synth I'm using I've changed it from a sawtooth to a, to a square wave or something. Um, and it, like it's a, usually a kind of a smallish change, but it's just kind of maybe change timbre is probably a better way it, that it should be put. Um, in this one and a few of the others, you see mute noise um, because there is a noise generator attached to it. So let me hit that. And it mutes the noise and you just get the pure um, synthesizer. Now the noise is back. Um, and then no sustain uh, I did where uh, it turns these into these really long um, uh, uh, they, they sound almost the same um, but the same way that you would make a drum sound with a synth where it's, it's just attack and uh, release uh, or attack and decay uh, and release and there's no sustain that's what that does it just takes out the sustain level um, and if you do like the longest note rate it, it's just an instance where you're going to get more space in between the sounds and um, let's see let's move to the next one here and each one of them like I said kind of has its own flavor and so I did auto noise one and then I kind of kind of got excited and so then I did auto noise too and then I was like well what if I do this and uh, I was like well I can add drums um so what if I add drums to it so some of them you will see run uh some of them you have to you have to actually hit run they have a run stop button sometimes the run stop button will run the synth but it won't run the drums uh and you have to hit play to run the drums so here We've got snare or no snare. Um, 
in the the actual tempo here uh, has an effect on on your uh, your drum pattern is set whatever your tempo is set to uh, LFO and rate note rate same thing change sound change of sound mute noise so so I kind of stuck with what I've done before and but you can just have the drums and I got 16 different drum patterns here uh, with matching snare stuff um, and so that's auto noise 2 let's check out 2a so here I started to get a little bit more creative because um, you can see I use the uh, Audiomatic Retro Transformer, the ART, um, and like that is a lot of fun. Uh, and you probably noticed that these have Pulsar in them, so you gotta have Pulsar to, to make these work. It probably would still partially work, it just won't be as interesting without Pulsar. Um, and then this one, the, the ART, if you don't have that, then it'll work, it's just not gonna be as interesting. But, I mean, this part's really cool. So yeah, you get the idea there. I mean, that's that one I think is a is a pretty nifty one. So then I was like, well, let me take that same idea and slap a Neptune on it, and then I changed the pitch where it was sliding the pitch around. So so the the synthesizer is running through a Neptune, and the Neptune's trying to assign it a pitch. Um, and it's so you can see it's sort of going bananas and sort of trying to figure it out. Um, and then you also have art here as well. And then we also have the drum patterns. So you got a lot going on on this one. And so then. <laughs> After that one, I was like, okay, I, I, I think I've I've done enough with with that. Um, and then I was like, no, no, you could do more. So then I added one more where um, this one is just lots of noise. I love it. All right, so let's take it off of here. And let's go ahead and turn our drums on. And you hit this button. So if you're a fan of noise art like I am, then, you know, that's a fun one. Um, in a... I recycled a lot of the uh, drum patterns in these, so it's not different drum patterns every time. These are all the same patterns um, from one to the next, but um, I think you can you get the idea of what's going on with that one. Um, so then, after that, I was like, well, let me try some different synths, because um, I think you know I was using Thor and Maelstrom and the other stuff. So then I was like, okay, let's let's do something with Europa, and then it's um, it's older. Um, very tiny cousin subtractor because I love the subtractor and I got something just totally different out of that uh, and I did a lot of the same routing tricks um, but um, I got a little more creative with uh, additional uh, effects necessarily randomly but um, doesn't just make everything go up and, and go down and hopefully by now you're, you're noticing that yeah there's uh, they all have, kind of have their own character so auto noise 5 um, so here I did um, three Thors and once like a low mid and a high right 
and so I have low mid and high volume so we'll just take that And so on this one, um, your mod wheel actually does something. I, I didn't program it on a lot on, on hardly any of the other ones, but on this one, it will do something, and it's um, periodic. I have a square wave that goes to amp gain, and then the, the uh, square wave is is making is giving you that fake tremolo, and it's scaled by um, a sine wave. So sometimes when you do this, it doesn't have the same effect, and it's not as dramatic as other times. Um, and then high, which this can that high can be real piercing sometimes. Um, so it, like like you're probably noticing some of these are. They have more space in them than others do. Uh, so, and that is on account of, and I've, I've put like, see, these are like 16 floor, so 16 meters, 24 floor. So you get, uh, you get different results here. Uh, results may vary, but some, filter and resonance, uh, it just applies a filter to everything, and then the resonance applies some more resonance to it. Uh, I think you get the idea there. So let's check out 6, or excuse me, 5A. So here I took the same template and I just changed some of the sounds around a little bit um, and you and just change some internal things and it gives you a you just you just get a different result basically um, let's see if everything's playing on you no, you're not playing right there I have to fix that Now here I went back to Europa and I've got Europa and Thor and Maelstrom and in some cases like I'm using the LFO from Thor here to, to control stuff and then like Maelstrom and Thor too are doing something different. Um, but you see I've got like volume for beeps, volume for bangs. So, and that's why I've got chords on and off. And you can change those chords from major to minor with the click of that player button, which I always love doing. And so just something to interact with. And then last one. So, so I pretty much have the same thing as the other one here. Um, but I added auto, audio metric retro transformer to it, and this one makes some pretty wicked sounds. Um, and you see, both of these have this wash button, um, and that button. And then beeps and bangs. Just that volume controls controls both of your of your background things. And then you can turn turn the chords on and off. And we still got major and minor. Um, and so that's auto noise. Um, if uh, you 
are interested in how I made these, let me know if you'd like to see a video of explaining like how I put these together because you can do this really easily um, or you can do it the hard way. I kind of did both. Some of these are fairly complicated. Some of them are actually quite easy uh, in terms of routing. Um, but uh, it's something for everybody to play with and uh, keep themselves entertained and, um, and, and hopefully block out some background noise and be able to get some work done because that's what I've been using them for is just use, they block out background noise pretty good. Um, so enjoy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.